buried glaciers found on Mars. Ice exists at much lower latitudes than any ice previously found on the Red Planet. Mars has vast glaciers hidden under aprons of rocky debris near mid-latitude mountains, a new study confirms, pointing to a new and large potential reservoir of life-supporting water on the planet. And this will be very important. Comes the time when manned missions go to Mars, because they will need water. And water is life. Altogether, these glaciers almost certainly represent the largest reservoir of water ice on Mars that's not in the polar caps, said John Holt of the University of Texas at Austin and the main author of the study. Just one of the features we examined is three times larger than the city of Los Angeles and up to one half mile thick and there are many, many more. The gently sloping mid-latitude debris flows have puzzled scientists since they were revealed by NASA's Viking orbiters in the 1970s. They looked very different from the fans and cones of debris found near mountains and cliffs in Mars' equatorial regions. And since their discovery, scientists have been debating how the features formed, with some proposing they were debris flows lubricated by ice. Recent observations suggest that the features might be more ice than rock. In other words, they are Martian glaciers. Holt and his colleagues used radar observations of the features taken by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to peer into the features. The findings suggest that the glacier theory is correct. Finding huge deposits of ice at the Martian mid-latitudes is a boon to both the study of past potential Martian life as well as future human exploration. Future human explorers will need water and they will be able to get it or can get it out of the huge glaciers that are on Mars. Glaciers are huge reservoirs of water once they melt, key to all life as we know it. Radar echoes. The team used MRO's shallow radar instrument to penetrate the rocky debris flows that lie in the Hellas Basin region of Mars' southern hemisphere. They examined the radar echoes to see what lay beneath the surface. All signs point to ice, and yes, lots of it. This is good news. The radar echoes received back by MRO indicated that radio waves passed through the overlying debris material and reflected off a deeper surface below without losing much strength. The expected signal or thick ice covered by a thin layer of debris or dirt. The radar, the radar echoes also showed no signs of significant rock debris within the glaciers, suggesting that they are relatively pure water ice. These results are the smoking gun pointing to the presence of large amounts of water ice at these latitudes said a shallow radar team member at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. So then, how old is the ice? The sheer amount of ice present in the flows studied was surprising. Extra polating from the Hellas Basin feature to the many others present in both Martian hemispheres. There seems or appears to be a lot of ice hiding under the Martian surface. The researchers estimate that the amount of ice in these mid-latitude glaciers is approximately 1% of the ice that's in Mars' polar caps, roughly equivalent to the ratio of Earth 
nonpolar glaciers to its polar ice. The glaciers could hold as much as 10% of the ice in the polar caps, similar to comparing Greenland's ice sheets to, to Antarctica. But just how the ice got there is still a mystery. The theory is the ice formed when Mars' orbital tilt was much, was much different than it is now. The axis the planet spins on has considerable wobble, meaning its angle changes over time. And the planet was much colder, allowing ice to form on the surface. Ice on the surface of Mars today would immediately sublimate or change directly into the gas phase. The rocky debris covering the ice is likely what keeps it in place today and has allowed it to survive below the surface for millions and millions of years. Scientists aren't exactly sure during which past ice age the glaciers may have formed, but by counting the number of impact craters and the overlying debris, they estimate them to be approximately 100 million years old. These ancient glaciers could hold clues that could shed more light on Mars' past, particularly whether or not it ever, ever or even harbored life. On Earth, such buried glacial ice in Antarctica preserves the record of traces of ancient organisms and past climate history. Ancient ice layers and glaciers on Earth preserve the signature of the current atmosphere at the time that they formed. So, this could be true of the Martian glaciers also. In particular, small bubbles that form as the ice layers are deposited could have samples of the atmosphere at that particular time. A lander capable of drilling down several meters could be able to sample the ice in the glaciers. These are quite accessible to landers. And, most importantly, they could also be a source of water for any future manned Mars expe expeditions. When the researchers travel to Antarctica, for instance, they simply knock off chunks of ice and melt them instead of lugging water with them. It's a whole lot easier and economical. It's a whole lot of ice. You could support a base for a long, long time. So then, there is a lot of water, water ice on Mars. And there's buried glaciers, even at mid-latitudes, not only at the polar caps, but in the middle regions of the planet also. And future human explorers will need water to survive. They won't be able to bring that much from Earth on any spaceship because water is very heavy. It weighs a lot. So then, the abundance of water on Mars is a very, very good sign for future human exploration of the red planet, Mars. And Mars is potentially the new Earth or a new Earth sometime in the future. It's something for humans to look forward to and it is a part of human evolution in the future. And all these are more signs of the end times transition days. Yes, there must be a transition in order to go to the next level of, again, human evolution. And water is life. Water is part of the spirit of the living God, the Creator. And once again, all these are more signs.